Welcome back, folks. I'm Jim Nance here with Tony Romo. We are on the tail end of Greccio and Chad's date, and things aren't looking good for the Chadster. No, they are not. I would say Greccio is about as interested in Chad as the Cowboys were interested in me when Dak Prescott started playing well. <laughs> you got that right, Tony. And nobody in Dallas was sad about it. No, they weren't. All right, here we have Chad walking Greccio to her door. Let's take you there live. All right, Chad's looking confident, and whoa! <laughs> What a move by Greccio. Looked like one of those swim moves that the defenders used to put on the offense to get to you, Tony. I don't think he actually made contact with his hand. Let's take a closer look. Uh, I don't know, Jim. I don't know. I don't think his hand actually made any contact. I, I think you're right. I really think you're right. No, no contact whatsoever. What an unbelievable athletic play by Greccio. Let's see if Chad can regroup here. If I had to guess, I'd say Chad would go with the classic, can I use your bathroom line so we can find a way into her apartment. I, I had a great time tonight. Yeah. So, uh, can I use your bathroom real quick? No. Wow, Tony, you are so good at predicting plays. A true douchebag move to try and trick his way into the house. Well, anyone who's wearing an outfit like that is gonna stoop really low to get as creepy as possible. I agree, Tony. That is the look of a defeated man right there. You know, I haven't seen a face that sad since Jerry Jones found out that the Hooters by his house was closing down. Or that time when you fumbled the snap. Remember that? Low blow, Jim. That was kind of low, I'm sorry. Low blow. I'm not really sorry.